एवरी वन वेलकम टू द अपडेट ऑफ थर्टीन ऑफ जून फर्स्ट थिंग्स फर्स्ट एक्सीगोज आई पी ओ येस्टरडे क्लोज विद बंपर रिस्पॉन्स डिमांड वॉज नियरली हंड्रेड एक्स द प्री आई पी ओ प्राइस वॉज अराउंड वन फोर्टी आई वॉन्ट बी सरप्राइज इफ इट क्रॉसेज वन फिफ्टी ऑन द लिस्टिंग डे आई हैव अपलाइड इन द आई पी ओ आई ऑल्सो ओन सिग्निफिकेंट शेयर ऑन द प्री आई पी ओ स्टेज बट दो शेयर विल बी लॉकड इन फॉर सिक्स मंथ्स आफ्टर द लिस्टिंग टूडे मार्केट्स वर ह्यूजली रेंज बाउंड अ वेरी स्मॉल रेंज अप्रॉक्सिमेटली सेवेंटी फाइव पॉइंट्स आवर निफ्टी हैड अ बंपर ओपनिंग and they created another all time high the closing also was an all time high only the wicks went continuously down it was down 6.5% today below 14 now tcs up 1% infosys half percent minor gains in hdfc bank 0.4% sbi 0.6% however icici was down overall now we are seeing some reds on this graph this is a healthy sign nifty closed yet again in the green 0.33% up Bank Nifty actually closed in the red. Towards the end, there was a lot of selling in HDFC Bank in the last fifteen twenty minutes. Nifty IT was up after three days. FI data, DI data is not out yet. However, there was some buying in certain pockets, specifically into defence towards the last half an hour. I believe FI is did some buying in some contrarian sectors. They are perhaps buying for the budget season now. I expect DIs may have sold a bit, lightened a bit today. The money for this month from the retail is probably over already. Nifty Energy down a bit. Yesterday, US markets were up. They liked the inflation data cooling. US government has, however, clarified that rates will be cut probably only once in the year. They will try to align it with somewhere around July-August time frame so that the effect is maximum just before the US elections in November. The US market was really up yesterday. Markets were up, so gold cooled down a bit, half a percent. Silver cracked today, one point six percent. Brent was down a bit as well. Bitcoin for last month was around seventy thousand. Right now it is roughly around sixty seven thousand range. Sugar stocks were on fire. There are some talks about MSP revision for the next season. I'll talk about the sector just after this slide. Vodafone board has approved twenty five hundred crores fundraise. However, all this is fundraising. This is not profit. So maybe temporary relief for shareholders and the company. How they are still long long away from getting out of trouble. Note that Monday is a holiday. No stock markets. GST council meeting is on June twenty second. Finance minister is old, but government is new. So big changes may be announced in this meeting. Watch out; it may create lot of volatility. Today, sugar sector was on fire. This is a list of most of the sugar companies. This does not have Andhra Sugar, which is classified as a chemical company for some reason. The biggest of them is Eat Perry. This is among the largest companies in the country. Most of these companies were up a lot today. Eat Perry two percent, Shri Ranuka eleven percent. Sugar sector, if there is good news, usually rallies for many days. Or if you decide to buy into it for trading or investment, do note few factors. Many of these companies never give profit. Second is most of these companies are constrained in a very specific geography. Do look for rainfall patterns. Is there going to be enough rain in that area this year or not? That will decide how much produce will be there for the company. Sugar cane is among the most demanding crop when it comes to water. I have tracked this sector for a long time. There are three companies which I have seen are most profitable: Eat Perry, Andhra Sugar, which is not listed here, and Triveni Engineering. Balrampur Chini of late has started giving a good handsome profit. EPS is positive, so do keep that factor in mind if you invest or trade in those stocks. Today I found a very strange pattern towards the end of the day. Nifty was not cracking; it was continuously going up. my usual suspect is reliance in these cases but today reliance was up very little and it was going down so reliance was not impacting nifty at all that is where i figured out that tcs went up a lot today 1.1% and today significant contribution came from tcs towards the end of the day in taking the nifty up and keeping it up so though reliance was coming down nifty was not sector snapshot most of the day software and it was the sector of the day with highest contribution towards the end aerospace and defense shot up i actually realized aerospace and defense was up so much after the markets closed look at the graph of hal went nowhere for the whole day till 2 o'clock 4925 levels and then shot up to 5115 closing levels in a space of 90 minutes same with bl started around 2 o'clock somewhere around 290 levels and then shot up to 302 softer it was a number 2 sector tcs led the pack 1.1% up followed by machinery equipment real estate what was dragging the nifty down consumption pack yet again power pack telecom aerospace and defense grse up 12.5% hl 4.5% bl 3.5% mazgaon dock 6% all my favorite stocks from 2 weeks back were up 
एनीवेयर बिटवीन फोर टू ट्वेल्व परसेंट ऑटो एम एन एम वॉज अप अदर कंपनीज लिटरली डेड नथिंग बैंकिंग अगेन मिक्स बैग एच डी एफ सी बैंक हाफ परसेंट अप आईसीआईसी वन परसेंट डाउन ओवरऑल द सेक्टर वेंट नो वेयर कंस्ट्रक्शन इंजीनियरिंग एल एन टी वॉज अप टू परसेंट आर बी एन एल करेक्टेड अप बिट आई आर बी वॉज डाउन गेट अगेन वन पॉइंट थ्री परसेंट डाउन सीमेंट पैक अप पॉइंट फोर परसेंट लेट बाय अल्ट्राटेक वन परसेंट अदानी एंटरप्राइज इज नॉट मूविंग एट ऑल पावर पैक नियरली एवरीथिंग वॉज डाउन मेटल्स एंड माइनिंग हिंदुस्तान सिंह इज द बिगेस्ट कंपनी नाउ and it is significantly bigger than tata steel when it moves the sector moves 2.3% down oil and gas while the sector was up 0.3% the bigger stocks didn't do anything ppcl was up a percent oil india 2% This sector seems to be losing interest right now. Real estate was rocking. Most stocks were up significantly. Software for a change today. Everyone was green. Oracle was up most, ten and a half percent. There are some sectors which I would want to highlight specifically aerospace and defense. Last few days it has been green on all days. Machinery equipment was down for only one day. Real estate consolidated yesterday, but it has been up for most days. Insurance was only down yesterday. Oil and gas construction were down only on. then construction materials has been up on all of the last 6 7 days household goods has been up for all the days hotels were up for most of the days this is where buying is happening as sectors nifty 50 today maximum contribution came from tcs 27% lnt 16% mnm 14% titan 12% hdfc 8% it is rare not to find reliance in the top 5 reliance is at number 15 in terms of sectoral contribution volumes were down today also selective stocks were up power in general most stocks had 50 to 70% kind of volumes 15 stocks down 35 up so overall the indices was doing fine there are five stocks in the 0 to 50% zone 50% stocks are in the 80 to 100% zone now what was up most shriram finance hdfc life divis mahindra titan lnt what was down hul axis bank britannia icici icher motors power grid tata consumer next 50 21 stocks down 29 up cholamandalam was up most followed by siemens shriram finance hl bl these are the two defense companies i was talking about they rose in the last 30 minutes or so what was down mariko adani green dabar united spirits bajaj holdings volumes really really shallow besides few companies nearly everyone was operating at 20 to 50% 70% kind of zone very little interest coming in nifty next 50 right now this is typically indicative of fidi action being very stock specific and retail actually moving away it index everything was up today Energy index was actually saved by Reliance, 0.1 percent up. Banks more red than green. The heavyweight HDFC Bank probably saved the day. Otherwise, there were good red cards in the Bank Nifty stocks as well as PSU Bank stocks. Volumes continue to be low. Entire sector was less than 100 percent. SBI 30 percent volumes. PNB 36 percent volumes. Bank of Baroda 40 percent. HDFC less than 50 percent. It seems that retail interest is really really going down in the stock market right now at current prices. but no one is selling as a result market is not coming down my trades today i bought eat peri this is the largest company i typically buy only eat peri or andar sugar when i trade in sugar i also bought jm financial the worst seems to be over for the company hopefully it will make some money now i sold lnt it was up 2% there was a decent gain on the table about 6 7% profit i will buy it back again if the market's correct a bit so this is a trade where i got foxed by nifty going up rather than coming down as a result i have ended up with an open loss of 10000 i do expect the markets to open a bit red tomorrow it may open with a gap up but will correct immediately for the simple reason that most of the positive triggers have already played out elections are done council of ministers is settled inflation is done results are far off budget is far off di money for this month would have been spent by now retail would have spent all its salary already in the markets most of it was already spent on 4th of june so i expect volumes to be low as well as markets to go a bit down people may want to be a little on money now now let me take you through the trade which i had kept for today as expiry day noted the profit was 13500 not around 17 18000 which i was thinking there was a reason for that this trade was for 23400 levels this is the same level where nifty was hovering i was afraid if there is a 40 50 point rally towards the end and if nifty goes to say 24 450 or something then the premium for this particular positions would shoot up like anything and this entire profit would evaporate quickly it could even turn negative in the worst case so that is why we should take a bit far off positions 
the corruption was also supposed to go to zero both of these approach zero towards the end of the day this was a wrong scalping trade went wrong and i booked losses came out now if we disregard for a moment this particular trade 145 is the last trade trade price i am at 164 so not a big deal if the market correct even 0.25 percent kind of levels in the morning this will get to zero there are two more trades i have taken this position is a middle of 23 300 and 23 500 we are at 23 400 approximately so this position is a bit stuck i may have to rescue it a bit maybe i'll sell it off and take another position let's see i'm a premium collector here so i don't expect big problems unless market crosses 23 500 kind of levels the other two positions are for next week's expiry so if you see i've taken a far off position now let's go to expiry date that's a six percent profit which is okay six percent in a week is fine but i'm safe till nifty does not cross 23 600 overall booked profit for the day was nine thousand. I was explaining this concept yesterday also the market ranges will now become narrower the markets will trade into very specific stocks and sectors the sectors will change for example today it was sugar stern now this could be news driven event driven but it will get increasingly difficult to guess all these things noted the result season in july could be very tricky I expect Y on Y and quarter on quarter numbers for many stocks to be on the downside and most of the traders and retail investors can't read through them. As a result, knee-jerk reactions may follow taking the stocks down after announcements. The expectations will continue to be high based upon last year and previous quarter's results. There was one comment on yesterday's video why I am expecting markets to fall. I'll try and address that in detail in a video over the weekend. This is a very interesting and a very important question to answer. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.